the brain is complicated. And because the brain's complicated, in many ways it's trailed other branches of medicine. There's still so much that we don't understand about the brain and the nervous system in general and how it works. We don't have good models of how the brain reacts to lesions in certain areas. We still struggle to identify how the brain recovers after stroke, after injury. I think we are beginning to understand sort of the healthy brain, but I think the next frontier is really understanding how does, the, how does brain function go awry? We know enough now that we know the right questions to ask, and the pace of discovery is breathtaking. Everybody's affected by the prevalence of neurological disease, so brain health and understanding uh, the determinants of it is extremely important for the University of Texas. Working together, we aim to translate new discoveries about brain function into new treatments for brain disease. We're ready. The time is now, the place is here. The brain is the seat of everything we are, how we feel, what we think. One out of two people at some point in their lifetime is going to experience a mental health condition. Diseases like Alzheimer's disease or schizophrenia strip away that very core of what makes a person a person. Well, brain disease uh, affects every family. So it's not uncommon for you know, families to experience depression and anxiety, and certainly that's, that's true in my family. My grandmother uh, started having symptoms of Alzheimer's when I was seven. Um, I have memories of her personality before those symptoms started and then for the next five or six years she, the decline was pretty swift. What we can do at a university is try to improve those people's lives. They're not just patients, they're members of a family, they're members of a community. We need to invest in brain disease because the suffering caused by these diseases is truly unmatched. Scientific discovery embodies the hope that these patients have that, you know, will allow us to offer something that will change their lives and affect their families. Uh, discoveries uh, in the health of the brain come, uh, in the beginning anyway, from basic science understanding of how the brain works normally. And that's the foundation for how we understand how it gets broken and how we fix it. We want to address the most common problems affecting people's brains. Neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and then we're also thinking about injuries. So we're thinking about peripheral nerve injury, we're thinking about spinal cord injury. Our focus is not only on how the brain works, but how the brain recovers. No difficult problem can be answered with a single discipline and a single knowledge base. Understanding brain health, brain disease, and brain recovery is fundamentally an interdisciplinary problem. There's such depth in all three of these areas, the medical school, neuroscience, and engineering. The convergence of those three groups of people and, and building stronger interactions, I think that's what's gonna really drive this forward. Bringing the tools and the talent into a team and including the patients and the families and the caregivers into the team is the key to really fueling the brain revolution. It makes it a very fertile environment for this type of interdisciplinary research that's necessary for brain science. We're able to address problems that are much more ambitious than any single one of us could on our own. Now we have the New Dell Medical School and the Mulva Clinic. Their goal is to take this research potential we have and turn that into clinical care for patients that have neurological disease. We're gonna have the ability to do clinical research with patients. What we see is that we're a great neuroscience community that's about to get even better. We've recruited just a bunch of really smart people to work on this problem. These are some of the smartest people in the areas around the country all coming now to Austin. In 10 years, uh, we'll be at the forefront because it's going to be our people who are going to be driving the new innovations. The University of Texas goal is to create a, a brain institute that revolutionizes how we take care of brain disease in a way that MD Anderson has done with cancer so that we can be truly the leaders in neuroscience. Now we're talking about solving a disease that involves care delivery plus science, plus engineering, plus liberal arts. I mean, it's really, it's really a spectacular challenge. That's what research universities do. They, 
They take a look at tough questions and try to figure out how to answer them. We can bring the capabilities of the entire university to start to answer these, these tough questions. We will see this become one of the most preeminent centers for brain health, not only in the country, but in the world.